Vuex is one of the most popular solutions for state management in Vue. In this video, we will be looking at the changes made to Vuex 4 and then using these concepts to create a to-do app using the Vue 3's composition API with TypeScript support. Before we begin, the first question we must ask ourselves is do we still need Vuex in Vue 3? If you have been looking around, you may have found articles that say you can use reactive and inject functions to do the same thing. And they are right. Technically, all you've done here is roll out your own Vuex. If you don't know about dependency injection, you can check out my previous video where I go over this topic. But when building large applications, Vuex provides a well-tested library with better debugging tools, as well as many packages that add additional functionality. The major goal of version 4 is to support the new composition API introduced in Vue 3 and to simplify the usage of Vuex overall. It is also intended to support a more robust interface for TypeScript. I do feel the new way of TypeScript support in Vuex is improved, but it is verbose and still needs more improvement. We'll explore this in detail with a to-do app example. I've gone ahead and created a Vue 3 project using the CLI tool. Make sure to configure TypeScript and Vuex options when creating your project. One of the first things you'll notice when you open your project is in the store index file, when initializing your store, you no longer use the store constructor. Instead, you call the create store function and pass it your store object. Vuex 4 also comes with a major feature, the create logger function, which is now included in the core package. Let's go ahead and enable it when we're working in development for quick debugging. Now we can start defining our store, which typically starts with defining the state. Although we'll not be actually loading data from an endpoint, we will be creating a fake promise that will return static data after a short delay and set the values to the items array. This array will contain the information about each to-do item. It is important to export the type of state because it will be used in the definitions of getters as well as mutations and actions. Just like in Redux and other Flux implementations, it is common to store mutations as constants. We will do this by creating a mutation type enum that will store all the potential mutations. We will only have to create four for this example. We can now declare the typing for each of our mutations. We will combine mutation tree and the mutation typings we just created to get a full support for typings when we create and use our functions. The function implementation are fairly trivial, so I will not be going into detail about what each function does. Like previously, we can create our action types enum. For the implementation typing, we'll need to create an action argument type, which will use our mutation typings to determine the correct parameters for the commit function. Now we can implement our action, which will sleep for one second to simulate an API request. Getters can also be statically typed. All we have to do is define our types and implement them. We will create two getters for quick access to see how many tasks we have completed and how many tasks there are in total. When accessing your store in a component, you can call the useStore hook. But as you will notice, this does not return the typings we have created. We will have to create our own useStore function and store type to support the typings we have created. We'll extend the Vuex store and add our own custom getters, commits, and dispatch typings. The commit function will take a mutation type as key and we'll use it to grab the corresponding payload typings from the parameters of the function. We will do the same for actions and lastly getters. After all this work, we are finally done. We created a simple store in Vuex and we can now start using it with full TypeScript support in our component setup functions. For the styling of the to-do app, I'll be using Tailwind. I won't be going into detail about how to set this up as we are primarily focused on using our new fully typed storage in the components. We will start by creating a new item component that will contain a form to allow users to add new items to the list of to-dos. When the user submits the form, we'll create a to-do item and insert it into our store by using the create item mutation. Next, we'll create the to-do item. It will accept the ID, text, and completed status as props and will display this information with a checkbox to toggle its status. When the checkbox is clicked, we will toggle the status of the item using our completed item mutation. The to-do list component will iterate over each item in the Vuex store and display them using the to-do item component. Lastly, in our app, we will load items from our action when the component is mounted. We will display a loading status when the items are loading, otherwise we'll show the new item form and the to-do list components. We can use our getters to give the user a little information about their progress. And we are finally done. As you may have noticed, the process of adding TypeScript support to Vuex is quite complicated. The Vuex team is working hard to make this process easier. I hope you've learned about using Vuex and TypeScript in Vue 3, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in the next one.